This next bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Unified Amateur Flyweight Division. It's brought to you by the River Cree Resort and Casino. Be sure to check out Unified's official after party tonight at Italia, one of many restaurants located right here inside the River Cree Resort and Casino. When the action begins, the referee in charge is the referee Andy Social. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 125.2 pounds and stands five feet, five inches tall, and tonight is making his amateur debut. Fighting out of Alliance MMA in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Please welcome Kobeer Singh. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 125.6 pounds and stands five feet, eight inches tall with an amateur record of one win, two losses. Fighting out of Shea Bear MMA by way of Mournville, Alberta, Gabriel Shinobi Brown. Brown, Singh. Three three-minute rounds, the amateur ranks. John Ramdeen, Mitch Clark, Ryan Rother, your broadcast team. Will it be a clash of styles, striking versus grappling? Nice bounce by Singh. And a check right away by uh, Gabriel Brown. It was an interesting thing. Um, not saying that this pertains. Beautiful body kick there. What I've what I've seen and, and I've heard this quoted is: you can't fake grappling in MMA. You can oh big right hand from Singh, and he's just coming up hard. Oh my goodness! A double leg attempt. Brown. Gabriel Brown. Brown felt the heat. Yeah. Singh coming after him in half guard right now. And you know he didn't want to be here. No. No, that's not where his. He wants to be standing at distance and be able to, you know, slowly chip away at his opponent, but Singh's got him down and throwing leather on the ground. Ooh, big kick. You would imagine that to Brown, his tactics would be that using those long-range weapons. Yeah, you know, um, oh, beautiful left hook there. But, you know, beautiful kick there. You know, sometimes, oh. you, you, sometimes you just need to get woken up, and sometimes sure. it's a sharp punch that kind of like puts you on your butt. Cowboy Cerrone was one of those guys. So strange. Sometimes that switch needs to be flipped on through violence. You know what I mean? Right here, big shots here. Um, you know, right now, I think Gabriel needs to go back to the finesse thing instead of just trying to chuck big leather, mm -hmm. taking the time. That's that's where he shows, you know? Singh wants that distance cleared up. See, so he can throw those big shots. And yeah. a double leg finish. There we awesome go. Awesome stuff. Yeah. And then here in the half, Butterfly and Singh looking to push up. Awesome stuff again yeah, by yeah. Singh. Quickly makes his way. And potential guillotine here. The, the big thing in that getup is the bottom leg was allowed to pivot and turn and stand a guillotine here by Singh. And he has the cage. Gabriel Brown flipping in, trying to get that chin towards the chest. And he needs to be cage walking to kind of create more angle and, and turn that chin in even more. I really love how abusive Singh is, though, in his yeah. approach. Yeah, he's gritty, but he's just here to get after it. The art of getting after it. Hey, you know, it's a different type of jiu-jitsu, yep. too. It's one of the things they talked about uh, for years, you know. And we're thinking good, a good defense rolling in. This is the time where Gabe Ross kind of like set that Set that motion, get after it a little bit. Nice low kicks landed by Brown. Teep to the midsection, spinning attack, just missing the mark. Sorry to interrupt. No, not at all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Went from good control <laughs> exactly. to, you know, What's forcing, happening we had to forcing that armbar. And that's the thing too, is in the amateur, you get so like crazy and, and, and just wanting to anticipate that finish and get it done that you force these, uh, the these submissions that they feel like they're there but it's different it's for real it's like maybe you hit it in training but you're not going to always hit it here and when you're you have two corners here very high quality coaches they're, they're obviously taking positives from each fighter 
when you're in the corner of Singh, you saw some good stuff that he's done, and same with Brown. So how do you add to that? Well, it's giving constructive criticism. You're not going to be given techniques. That's where a lot of a lot of coaches go wrong. Four speed too much to your to your who you're coaching, and and it doesn't none of it sticks because you're like, well, you got to do this with this and this. It's like, hey, we got to take some time. Keep them away, just get on your bike, kind of like start picking them apart, use your range. Or hey, you gotta make this gritty, you know, double jab right hand, get, close that space off, you know what I mean? And I know I said don't use the technique, but it's like, it's same, it's nothing new. It's just like, hey, you know what to do, let's close that distance off, let's make it happen. Brown looks like he is in phenomenal form, not breathing hard. Sing a couple of deep breaths, but as we mentioned, 125 pounds and amateur, only three minute rounds. You would expect that these guys will be able to go for days. Yeah, as you said, there's no out of shape 125ers. Give a round coming out, getting that head moving. Brown clearly trying to, to break that lead wheel of Singh. Catching that kick, looking to push him to the cage. Double leg little push down. Triangle choke, perhaps. He's got to get that foot free. Now it's on the table. Well, now it's back off the table. Ah, fun, ah, fun. But, um, you know, looking for kind of a sweet variation there. Singh doing a good job of passing right there and looking for that, that guillotine right away. Got to go cross body to finish. Nice single leg. Beautiful to the butterfly guard. He's got to make sure that he either keeps Singh flat or elevates the bottom leg to stop this. So right now he's got to elevate the, the left leg. I don't necessarily agree with that decision. To back away? Yeah, I'd probably keep the heat on him. You know, you got someone who's having their first amateur fight, you know, keep the heat on him, make him feel bad about Stress himself. Stress out. Yeah, yeah, make those endorphins kind of like redline a little bit, in my opinion. And uh, Gabriel anticipating, uh, you know, I think a spin Spinning move. attack, yeah. yeah. Wants to look flashy here. Oh, wow, geez. good I, stuff. I, I, I think he did like a break dance move there. He <laughs> almost stopped the takedown, uh, passing almost the way to half guard. And you know what? Nothing wrong with half guard. Just sit in half guard. Yeah, I, you know, Randy Couture That's... made that work so well. Headlock attempt and Gabriel Brand climbing up the back. Looking for that back mount on Singh. Looking to secure that second hook. Using that nice little half Nelson there to kind of keep his opponent turned away. He's got to be careful though, and keeping his hips in the right position so he doesn't, his opponent doesn't come off and shake him off like what's happening right here. And if you saw the look on Singh's face, he did not seem concerned at all that somebody was on his back. And this is this is why you have to be cognizant of that. Um, yeah, so Gabriel Brown needs a little bit of a higher guard. And he's looking for that, but he needs to close off to get rid of that hand that's really blocking the triangle from happening. Omoplata. Omoplata attempt, using it hopefully to either sweep or stand up, but he needs to turn in, looking for that. Potential arm bar, no. So, you know, he's working hard, but he's getting stacked up here, and you know, it's letting, there's a triangle there. attempt right there. Very close. Yeah, he's got to hold it. There it is, there it's locked in. Hug that head, hug that shin, keep the, all that pressure on him. The countdown is on, 30 seconds remaining. Can Brown squeeze it tight and force the submission? Now, part of the issue is he's got really long legs, which creates a little pocket for a little, for a little spark plug like Singh right now. So there's like, there's probably pressure, but he's got to really cut that angle to really make it happen. Singh doing a good job of going forward, really making it difficult, but not, maybe not enough to finish. And there's just not enough time. Really trying, but Singh showing us what he is made of. As the round comes to an end, no submission. Sends a positive message to the judges though. He needs more of this and he needs to not be complacent. Um, I have it, I personally have it for one round apiece. Uh, due to that submission attempt, but really, as I've said, I don't know what the judges are looking for, because everything from a 30-26 to 29-28. Yep. I mean, we think we know what the judges are looking for. We feel like when we watch a round, we know who won the round. Sometimes it's hard because things are very, very close but there's a lot of times where it's not that close. Yeah, yeah, no, and 
it's subjective, but at the same time, is sometimes we get we try and overcomplicate this. Who would you rather be at the end of that round? Yep. Sometimes works real well. And if there's no clear decision, then we start breaking it down. In my opinion, I like that philosophy. Who would you rather be? Yeah, you know, and like who's bloody, who's busted up, you know, which one kind of like almost went night night. You know, that's 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 really what it comes down to. But you know, we'll we'll see. We'll see how the judges see it. Final round, about to get underway. And certainly to the body language, very, very different within these two athletes, between these two athletes. Can Brown take advantage of the fact that his opponent could be fatiguing? You would imagine they're both fatiguing. But well, having those, that triangle on for an extended amount of time can burn out your legs, you know? So it's, it's, a, it's interesting to see how it goes uh, in this round. As I said, one round piece in my opinion. Crazy footwork there from Gabriel Brown, but ended up landing that right hand. Nice push kick. Exchanging kicks. Yeah. All the damaging blows so far in round three. Coming from Brown. Hands up high, trying to chop down the tree once again. Nice right hand yes. and a beautiful sweep trip there. And it, it may not be a popular opinion, but once I'm here in this round, I'm telling my fighter to don't lose this position. Don't, don't lose this position, and and just keep the, your opponent flat. Opponent looking for that sweep, but you know it's a hard one to get. You know? So you don't care if they advance position. No. If, if they're, I mean, you want them to be advancing position as long as it's safe to do so, right? Yeah. You know, and and right here, flatten them out in uh, side control. And, and and don't force anything, especially because we've already found right. out that like, he's in mount right now and with a beautiful grapevine. Now I'm just gonna chip away, I'm gonna slowly put my partner and my opponent in the stocks or whatever. He needs to cover that far hip line though, because the same thing's gonna, thing gonna happen, see? Hate seeing that, but unfortunately, you know. And that's kind of what you were talking about. If he had to just stayed in the position where he's inside the guard, maybe advanced to, you know, top half guard, and just chip away from there instead he, he falls off. had an arm attempt there. Uh, someone I know did that once in a big fight, but uh, looking for that, <laughs> <laughs> looking for that Dars. It's hard with these big amateur gloves though, um, but got a scramble going and looked really good. This thing looking a little bit, you know, yep. the throwing a little bit harder, you know, that I'm a little bit tired technique. A little kinda, worn out yeah. at this point of the fight. But you know, oh, oh beautiful <laughs> spin kick to the body. I love that uh, Brown's really mixing things up, forcing Singh to think about everything that's coming his way. Totally, but you know, Singh using a lot of energy, trying to muscle Gabriel Brown down. Nice little snap down there, though. Um, looking for that nice little short guillotine, Gabriel Brown. You know, and this could be the difference maker. He's yep. conceding that that takedown, so he needs to really start working. Because, uh, yeah, there we go. Going right here, this guillotine can be tough, but if, as soon as he hits cross body, it's gonna make it hard to finish. Singh needs to really start cranking his head down into the middle of the body and breaking off the punches. So there's 30 seconds left, I'm interested to see how this goes. And the experience of Brown might be the yep. big difference that, maker. I, I think so. And there, you see some strikes landing by Brown, looking for the takedown, excellent choice. And here you stay. I don't do a thing. I sit in that half guard, I don't lose position. Singh needs to have a little bit more urgency. This, the, the patty cake, um, is not gonna send a message. On top it does a little bit, even though sure. he's not really doing anything. But it's, it's okay. uh, and then the body language oh, is gonna be a big thing here when, too. When you look at both the body language, I mean, that's the story. Yeah, it goes back to what we said though, right? Yep. Who would you rather be? Who's, who looks happier to be, you know, who looks happier to be done the fight and who looks happier to be alive still? That's right. Some good stuff, you know. Um, you know, in my opinion, it'd be looking to even up the record of, of Gabriel Brown, but I've seen worse decisions too. You know, it's it, this was a tough fight with a lot of action from both fighters. You know, so it, it was. Um, and, he, and here we're going to see uh, Gabriel Brown catching the kick, hitting a nice little trip, and then getting the takedown and staying on top. From here, he did some work, but you know, sometimes you get a little bit anxious and not being able to have ground and pound on the table is another big thing. So. Um, both of them hitting the body. It'll make your opponent move, but it's not a big enough deal. He did a good job of keeping pressure on top, looking to mount. You know, when he went there, he looked really good. 
from the back, he got shook off again, you know? So uh, maybe learning how to maintain mount might be another, like, addition to add on top of that. But, you know, um, his, his guard was slick. When his guard got passed, he was able to roll through, come up on top. Are those some of the elements that you would, uh, you know, you go back to the drawing board, so you, you get the victory if you're brown, but you also want to work on some of the things that didn't work in the fight. Is that what you're looking at, the fact oh. that, okay, when you're in these positions, you can't lose them. Oh, totally. Like the ground control, like from the back, needs to be brought up. The guard Ladies and gentlemen, needs to be better we too. have a decision. All three judges scored 29 28, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Gabriel Shinobi Brown! Shinobi with the victory here at the River Cree Resort and Casino. I'd agree with that decision. You know, I feel like that's a fair, yep. a fair decision, 